All right, guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope you guys are all having a great day. So in today's video, what we're going to be doing is the evolution of the combat knife in Call of Duty. The combat knife has been in Call of Duty from BO2 all the way till Modern Warfare and every single COD in between those games. I know some of you guys are thinking to yourself, well, COD 4 through Modern Warfare 3 had base knives in the game. It had combat knives. It didn't have actual combat knife melee weapons. It had attachments and it had panic knifing in the game. And we're not going to be covering that in the video. We're only going to be covering actual combat knife melee weapons. But anyways, what I want you guys to to do is let me know down below in the comment section which combat knife is your favorite mine personally is the bo3 combat knife also make sure you guys show the video some love by dropping a like down below if you guys show this video enough love i may end up doing an evolution series on the channel where we do the throwing knife combat axe crossbow riot shield all the special weapons and stuff like that so make sure you guys are showing the love if you guys want to see that on the channel anyways without further ado let's go ahead and hop into the first call of duty game that included the combat knife black ops 2. Death all right match. baby we got carrier team deathmatch um there might be some hackers on the enemy team. I don't know. That one dude, I think he was hacking in another lobby I joined. So hopefully he's not in this one. We're going to go for a cross map just for fun. It might hit. You never know. It'd be cool if it hits. But we're going to try to get a couple kills. I'm going to talk for a second. Then we're going to switch games. I don't know if I'll play out this whole game. I might. So I'm not going to say I'm not going to because Charging I might EMP. end up playing out the whole game. You know? You never know. I just I just EMP'd myself. I am the best. See if I can get behind this dude and shank him. But my favorite thing about this knife is how quick you can actually knife with it and the fact that it didn't take up any points on your creative class because now combat knives take up a point or it's like your actual secondary weapon, you know? But in this game, it didn't take up any points. It was just, you know, you just you know, took everything off your class and all you had was your knife. Oh, are we going to get this dude for the second time in a row? Come over here, bro. And it actually has some decent lunge at times, but the only th big issue with this weapon and this game in general is the connection. The connection is really bad. See, it just like Kill finessed my lunge from me and just gave me some stupid little swipe animation. But, you know, that swipe animation is really quick and that's what you want to get when you have like a lot of enemies in front of you. As I was saying, the connection at times is pretty bad. <laughs> and that dude shot my body. I don't know why he's shooting my body, but okay. Let's try to get a couple more kills with it just so you guys can see the animation. I want to get an actual lunge animation if it'll give me one. Okay, it's probably not going to give me one. The connection's so bad in this lobby. There's the lag. Or the lag. The lag knife is what I was about to say. But the little the little lunge knife, I should say. Instead of lag knife. Which it was, it was a lag knife. A lag lunge knife. Nope. 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 Okay, how many times I got to knife that man? Uh, this is just BO2, bro. Charging EMP. What am I dying by? Oh hell no, nah. that man got aimbot. No, 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 he got aimbot, aimbot. Oh, we're gonna outplay him. Outplayed, bro. Oh my god, you got abused. That is the definition of getting abused. Be advised, hostile VTOL warship. All right, he got a VTOL warship, so let me shank this dude. And uh, yeah, he's calling in like 50 different things. I'm good. We can go and move on. That's the best gameplay we're gonna get on BO2, just because of how hacked it is. So, uh, anyways, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop on Call of Duty Ghost. All right, guys, we're on Call of Duty Ghost, and this is what the combat knife looks like in this game. Um, there's also a gold combat knife that allows you to melee faster, but we're not going to be using that in today's video because I'm rank 8, and it doesn't really matter to use that. We're just going to use the regular combat knife. And since I'm rank 8, I don't have, like, really any perks or anything like that in order for me to use, and I'm just going to be pretty much running around like a chicken with my head cut off with a knife. So let's go ahead and hop into a match and check out the Call of Duty Ghost combat knife. Death All match. right, baby, we got Stonehaven, man. This is probably not going to go well but uh, we're gonna try to knife on this map and we're gonna try and talk about the combat knife and uh, get a few kills then we'll move on to advanced warfare but first things first the combat knife in this game is probably the longest animation we've ever seen in a call of duty game it's very long that's what she said <laughs> you stab into the enemy and then you throw them off and then you get the kill you don't just go up to the enemy and swipe them and they instantly die you have to go through that whole tedious thing of stabbing into them and then hoping that you kill them and you die really really just really quick <laughs> and i just got absolutely destroyed all right let's see if we can get some kills man i am just i found no one except for that first guy off the star oh i see somebody in the distance over there in a bush wookie suit oh there's a guy right here oh don't see me don't see me oh god he's seen me Oh no, he didn't see him. He gets stabbed. As you guys seen, you stab into the enemy and then you pull them off. The dude was crouched, so it's a little different of an animation when the enemies actually are crouched. So you didn't get to see the whole animation. Oh, there's a dude up here chilling and camping. I don't think we can get around the back. 
Mm -mm -mm -mm. Got him. There we go. He was crouched too. You guys, you haven't seen the whole animation yet. I think there's a dude chasing my teammate over here. Unless he throwing knife. He throwing knife him. Okay, he's running around with a knife as well. <laughs> that is a bold, bold strategy on this map, dude. I don't suggest anyone trying to knife on this map. Should we a dude right here? Oh, there we go. As you guys can see, that's the animation for people that are standing up. And I'm surprised I've even got three kills so far on this map, man. I really am surprised. And satcoms are so dumb. Who ever thought about the idea of having to have three satcoms in order to have a UAV? That's, that's so stupid. If you thought about that, I don't like you. I don't think I'll ever like you. Friendly satcom active. Oh, I'm flanking him behind this dude. Oh, there's two over here. Gotta play it smart. Come here, buddy. The lunge was actually pretty good on this weapon, though. Now that I think about it, the lunge was pretty good. Way better than the BO2 lunge. By a long shot. Come on, buddy. Stop running. Oh, you're lagging. Guard there we go. Friend. Shanked him. I got a guard dog. Go and call that in. We're actually doing pretty solid here, man. For a stolen haven? Yeah, this is actually really solid. Why is this guy just running over top of rocks and going crazy? Is he good? Come on. Nope. My teammate was behind me trying to shank him too. <laughs> I got the knife first, bro. What? What is that guy? He can't. Did he just noob to me? I, I I don't know what he was doing. And he just turns on me noob tubes. <laughs> he went he with the castet, or I think is what it's called. I think it's the castet. I'm not sure though. But I'm gonna get one more knife kill on these guys, and then we're gonna go to advanced warfare. Hopefully these uh, these guys don't camp in the back of the map to the end of the game. Oh. And that's a little quick animation that you can get with it. People are on top of rocks and stuff. So I'm surprised I actually got that animation. I'm glad I actually got it because usually you don't get it. All right, guys. So we just hopped on Advanced Warfare. As you guys see at the top right, I'm only level 12. I'm a really low rank on this game, just like Call of Duty Ghost. And uh, on the left down there, as you guys can see, that is the combat knife. Now, unfortunately, you can't see it on the created class, but you have to do pretty much what you did in Black Ops 2 and um, also Call of Duty Ghost in order to get it on your class. Now, you can have one of the other, you know, primary or secondary weapons and also have the combat knife, but we're just going to only use the combat knife. So anyways, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into a game and talk about the combat knife in Advanced Warfare. All right, baby. So we got some Detroit team deathmatch now the combat knife in this game is probably my least favorite combat knife out of any Call of Duty game it's just not that good it's about as good as the advanced not advanced warfare the modern warfare combat knife it doesn't have any lunge animations and the only animation it has is the one you just seen that I got two kills with so it's kind of annoying that's why I everybody used the tack knife and they didn't use the combat knife in this game because it's just not that good and it's hard to actually connect with people sometimes. Sometimes it will, and then sometimes it's just really off and really weird. So, it's it's iffy. You're not always going to get guaranteed kills. I just received a supply drop. I'm actually doing pretty solid with this. I just remember back in the day, I would have to spam spike drones because of how bad this weapon actually was. Oh my god, get out of my face, brother. Oh my god, outplayed. I jetpacked towards him. I'm the noob at this game. I really did not play this game much at all. And I definitely didn't play the game much for knifing. Oh my, get out the corner, bro. What you doing, man? Oh, there's another one in here. Oh, got him too. Oh my god, how am I getting some of these kills? I really, I really don't know. I don't know what I died by. I think, I, yeah, I died by that guy that was in front of me. I'm actually surprised I'm getting some of the kills that I'm getting. Oh, get shanked, buddy. You just gotta go to the central building right here and you can actually get some pretty decent kills. Oh, he's right there. I don't, oh, what is this? What is that thing? I, I can't remember what that thing is. I, I really can't remember. It's coming at me like a freaking flashlight. Get it away from me. <laughs> I'm gonna go around. There's a dude going that way as well. What? See, as you guys can see, there is literally no lunge anim animation. Animation when it came to this combat knife. Gotcha, buddy. No, my. I don't know how I got that kill. What? Are you trying to ground slam me, bro? It's not gonna happen. You can try all you want, but it's not gonna happen. Oh my. We all we got a nice little three piece right there. What the heck? Gotcha. No, dang it, those two people camping in there. Woo! Okay, maybe the combat knife isn't as bad as I remember. I'm clapping with it right now. I'm surprised I'm doing what I'm doing though. Woo! I got 30 kills that game knifing that's pretty freaking good man i'll take that let's go ahead and go on to black ops 3 man 
All right, baby, so I just hopped on some BO3. I had to switch to my These Knives Only account because my Josh TKO account is a level one on this game, and you have to be like level 50 something in order to unlock the combat knife. So um, yeah, we're just gonna run on this account. This is what the combat knife looked like in this game. This is the class setup I'm gonna rock, and without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and hop into a match, check out the BO3 combat knife. All right, baby, we got some Exodus team deathmatch. It seems like every single time I play this game, I get Exodus, so I'm happy because I actually like Exodus. That was a fail of a combat accident. I'm not even supposed to be using combat axes. I'm supposed to be using the combat knife. So, my bad. I did not mean to do that. Can pop a stun right there. I don't know if anybody would come this way or not. Yeah, and somebody did. Let me, I got him. Oh, God. Oh, I slid into that guy. Is this dude going to push me? He didn't. He ran around to right here into the corner, and you got stabbed in the face, bro. Now, I think this was the first Call of Duty game that ever added an animation for knives. And I think it added. It's the first one that added an animation for um, weapons in general. Maybe mistaken though, but I think it was the first game that ever added animations, so that's pretty cool as well. The shank, bro. That's another animation that you guys typically don't see with the combat knife. That's only going downstairs though, so you don't only get that when you go downstairs. Here we go, get shanked in the face. I got my UAV and my counter. Let's go and get those in the air. See where these dudes are at. Oh, he's over here. Oh, got him. He was using a shotgun. Get shanked in the face, bro. And this is actually a pretty good lobby for knifing right now. Oh, get shanked, you too. Are we going to get the hater? Probably going to jinx myself. More than likely going to jinx myself. <clears throat> Did I get it? I was one kill off of the hater, man, to start off. We went on a 10 kill streak. That's the best kill streak we went on so far. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, got him. Oh, oh three piece. What's going to throw a random Tomahawk over? Okay. Didn't hit nobody. Didn't expect it to. That would have been cool if it actually did, though. Get back gotcha, buddy. We're on another Bloodthirsty. Let's get the UAV in the air. Got him. Oh, my God. He had a war machine. That could have been bad. Oh, got another animation like the end. He's using a Brecky. You go from getting destroyed to now using a Brecky. Come on, bro. That's the lowest of the lows. You really have to do that? We're 17 and 2, though. We're doing pretty solid. Oh. Got him. Whew. We can get some nice kills. There we go. Nope. Oh. I don't know how I ended up getting that guy. Oh, got him too. That's a nice little three piece. Oh, we could have got a quad. There we go. Anybody else in here? Yes, it is. There we go. Shanked in the face. Oh. Got you. And you. Oh, my God. Gotcha. You. No, he had a shotgun. Nope. Stupid shotguns, bro. <laughs> Every time it's a stupid shotgun. Ooh. Ah, and then I ground slammed. <laughs> or grab spiked. Uh, we're coming to the end of this game. I got 36 kills. That's pretty good, honestly. That's pretty solid. It's more than last game. I think we got a little bit more deaths, but um, my teammate ended up leaving, or teammates ended up leaving on me, man. And uh, we got a few left, though. There we go. Make it 37. Can we get 38 to end the game? Slide this way. There we go. 38 kills. Sometimes this combat knife doesn't give you the lunge that you like, but sometimes you get, like, surprised that you get some of the kills that you do. Overall, I think this is one of the better combat knives throughout the uh, the Call of Duty series, and you guys can let me know down below if you, felt, if you guys feel that way as well. And uh, without further ado, I think the next game is IW. Let's go ahead and hop into it, man. Alright baby, so I just got on Infinite Warfare. I'm on my good friend CodGo619's account because neither one of my accounts had the combat knife unlocked because I played Xbox when this game came out. Uh, anyways, this is what the combat knife looks like on Infinite Warfare. And without further ado guys, let's go ahead and hop into a game and check it out. Alright baby, we got some Frost Team Deathmatch. I spawned in once or twice, but uh, my phone kept ringing and interrupting me. So um, we're going to try to get some combat knife kills here, man. We're going to try to mess around with this combat knife. We actually have the uh, the Black Sky camo on i believe is what's called that was a nice little animation we got right there it was a little swipe there's actually two animations that you can get in this game you can get a lunge and then a swipe and this combat knife believe it or not is probably the best combat knife we've ever had in a call of duty game and it honestly sucks that it was on this cod game man it couldn't be on a different cod because i didn't enjoy this one and i feel like a lot of knifers didn't play this game but the combat knife on this game is really good and that's the little lunge animation that you get where you stab into the enemy and it's actually pretty quick it's a lot quicker than call of duty ghost animation 
animation. There we go. There it is. And he actually has the uh, the one that gets you a de atomizer strike, man. That's crazy. Oh, I'm thinking about him playing like Advanced Warfare or something, bro. I tried to boost forward. Oh my god, I get shanked in the ankles. Sliding is beneficial in this game, just like BO3. So if you can slide, that's good. Oh, get shanked on the wall, bro. Destroyed. Oh, get shanked again. Woo! I think I killed that guy a couple times in a row. Let's get that UAV in the air. Where are these dudes at? Oh, there's one over here. We're 20 kills away from that D at. Like I'm gonna actually get it. Oh, and I'm dead. Dang it, I got meleeed. How did I get meleeed? What the heck? Honestly, I really like this combat knife. I love the lunge on it. As you guys can see, it's really good for every single thing that you want to do. You can slide knife. You can literally lunge at people. You can do whatever you want to do with this knife. As you guys are seeing, I'm playing very agile right now. I'm playing really good, too. You shank, bro. And it's honestly, it's pretty quick. So unlike the Call of Duty Ghost combat knife that Infinity Ward had before, this one, you can actually get a lot of kills in succession. Oh my, I fell off the map. I, I think I fell off the map here. I, I, I think, I think I fell off the map. Oh, if I get out of this, I'm the goat. Oh my god, I got out of that. I don't know how I did. I didn't even know I could get out of that. I just ran right past someone. <laughs> I ran right past someone as soon as I got out of that. <laughs> that was so funny, bro. I think overall, if you know what you're doing in this COD game specifically, you can go absolutely in with this combat knife. But I don't know what I'm doing, and I'm doing pretty decent right now. Like, I'm 16 and 7. I'm doing pretty solid. Oh, no, and he got a vulture, bro. That sucks. As soon as I killed that guy, I was one shot. But if you know the maps in this game, you just know what you're doing overall, you can get some really beast gameplays with this weapon. I should have played this game a lot more than I did back in the day, because I, I really didn't give this game a chance. And, and it's pretty solid, knifing-wise, man. It really is. Seriously. Haha! <laughs> I don't even know what I did right there. I just disappeared and that dude didn't see me. <laughs> I love it. There he is. Oh my god. I can't kill him. He's just using a stupid phase shift that I just used. Oh, oh my. I just got a hit marker. I don't know what specialist that is, but that shit's OP if you get a hit marker on him with a knife. <laughs> All right, that's going to do it, man. That is Infinite Warfare knifing. I did okay. For someone that never plays this game and never knifes on this game, I, I think I did pretty well. All right, baby, we just hopped on to COD World War II. In this game, you didn't actually have a combat knife as the base melee weapon in this game. You got a um, shovel, I think is what it was. Let me go ahead and check real quick just to make sure. Yeah, you got a U.S. shovel. That was the base melee, and then they ended up adding a combat knife, trench knife, and all the other melee weapons in this game. And the uh, the combat knife we're going to use in this video is the heroic combat knife. And also, in this game, you couldn't put a primary on as a melee weapon unless you use serrated. And that's the only way you get it on as a primary. And we're going to run airborne because I'm not gonna be using throwing knives. Otherwise, I would usually use expeditionary. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and hop into a match and check out the combat knife in World War II. All right, baby, we got some U.S. Alexis, Texas. You guys know the vibes. That's what I always used to call this map. Uh, but let's talk about this combat knife a little bit. I think I got the wrong class on. I meant to pick the other one, but I got my expeditionary class for my three throwing knives. I picked it on accident because both of them have the same knife on. But anyways, this combat knife was pretty solid. It had two animations: one lunge and the other a really quick swipe. There's the swipe. Can we get the lunge right? here gotta get closer there we go there's the lunge animation that's the two animations you can get with this knife i don't think you can get any other animations i may be mistaken though but uh you might be able to oh forgot that <laughs> i could have blown up somebody with a trip mine i have like one kill with a trip mine on this game but overall back in the day i really didn't use the knife that much in this game i just ran around and killed people with throwing knives and i went for like really long range dolphin dive throwing knives that was my thing if you guys watched my videos back then you guys will remember that that's all i went for that's what i love doing in this game and i was actually pretty good at it i'd say i think i think i got some really really cool tomahawk kills in this game and i get molotov bro i gotta watch this he hit me straight on with a molotov that was a good throw i wasn't expecting him to hit me straight on with it that was actually a pretty good toss. Honestly, I'm not going to front. Knifing was pretty good in this game, but it's just not in my nature to actually go around and try to shank people in this game specifically. My first option is using the throwing knife, so it's a lot harder for me to actually not want to use my throwing knife because I'm so accustomed to it in this game. Oh, get shanked after the dolphin dive. That's what you get, dude. I don't care. That's what you get. That's what you deserve. You get a dolphin dive to the ankle. Here we go, shank you. Ah, stupid trip mines, man. 
That's one thing I don't miss about this game. Trip mines after trip mines after trip mines. <laughs> that's all you see. That's all you die by. That and fire shotguns. There's a lot of things I liked about this game, but that's not one. Ah, there we go. 11 and 8, not the best of games, but honestly, not the worst we could have done. My score's gone, thank God. <laughs> Nobody has to see how bad I did that game. Alright, baby, so we just loaded up Black Ops 4. This is what the combat knife looks like on this game. And without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and hop into a match and check it out. Alright, baby, we got some Seaside Team Deathmatch. I think I have 23,000 kills with the combat knife on this account, which is a lot, honestly. That's a lot. What is this dude doing with his mic? You get muted, bro. I don't know what you're doing. But this is the animation for the combat knife in this game. It's the same thing as BO3, which kind of frustrated me when this game came out. I was like, y'all really couldn't change it up just a tiny bit, just a tad? And, you know, obviously, no. They didn't do anything to to the combat knife they were like screw it we're just gonna leave it how it was in bo3 but uh overall this combat knife went through so many ups and downs it went from being bad or like i'd say average because it took like a long time to stab into enemies when the game first came out then they changed it and they made it good they made it like you know like a normal combat knife but then after that they literally messed it up again, bro. They messed it up again and made it so bad to where it was like pretty much the worst combat knife ever put into a Call of Duty game, which made me so pissed. I even made a whole video about it back then. But obviously after that, they fixed it to what it is right now, which I appreciate because this weapon honestly isn't that bad and it's very tolerable to use. Obviously, I'm going to use the ballistic knife over it every single time. But overall, I'd say the, I'd say the combat knife is pretty solid in this game. And uh, you can definitely do pretty good, unless you go up against somebody with the Reaver or the Ballistic Knife, and you're just going to get frustrated. But anyways, let's go ahead and try to get a couple kills, and uh, we'll go ahead and hop on Modern Warfare. But we got to get a couple kills before that. Is this dude going to... Yep, he's going to push in here. Bad idea, bro. Bad idea. There's a lot over here. I don't want to push out. I don't feel confident at all pushing when I'm using, like, a, a combat knife, and I'm not using my Ballistic Knife in. I really don't. Oh, Oh, quad feed, baby! Yeah, quad feed. I like it. Oh, I got the purple on the blade right now. I hardly ever get that, especially on the common. Oh, that man's getting mad. Alright man, so we're on Modern Warfare, um, this is what the combat knife looks like in this game, this is the most recent combat knife in the series, I have gold camo on it by the way, this is not how it comes stock, this is a camo that I unlocked, if you want to see how it comes stock, I'll go ahead and put it on real quick, I'll just take the camo off, and that's what the regular knife looks like, it looks like just, just, like, just like the throwing knife, it looks the exact same, you know? Anyways guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into a match and talk about this combat knife a little more. All right, baby, we got some Gunrunner Domination. I think this match... Oh, no, it's a fresh match. Um, I'm going to try my best to get some kills and not use throwing knives because in this game, you pretty much have to use throwing knives to your best ability to do pretty much anything because this is a game where everybody camps, skill-based matchmaking is a thing, and sound whoring is in an abundance. Everybody does it. Let's see. Can I run into here without getting absolutely destroyed at the beginning? Oh, that was close. And then I got close to killing that guy, but he one-shot at me. <laughs> <laughs> you already know it's coming that way. You can hear me from a mile away. Oh, I accidentally used my stem. I thought it was a stun. There we go. There's a kill. Uh, honestly, I was thinking about Advanced Warfare and how I thought that combat knife was worse than this combat knife. But to be completely honest, I think this might be the worst combat knife we've ever had in a Call of Duty game. It has absolutely no lunge. And when you get near people, sometimes it doesn't even register of you knifing that person. It just like slashes the air and it won't even kill the person. So to be completely honest with you guys, I think Advanced Warfare has a better combat knife than this game. I didn't think any Call of Duty game could have a worse combat knife than the one that was in advanced warfare so yeah that says a lot it's shank what? see what i'm saying you see exactly what i just said <laughs> and it just happened i knifed that dude i clearly knifed him <laughs> it did not give me the kill at all that's why you rely on throwing knives 110 times more than you would rely on a combat knife in this game and you have to have dead silence that is a must-have you don't have dead silence, you're screwed. And even if you got dead silence, there could be somebody on a head glitch and you're going to get two tapped. I'm not going to torture myself much more on this game. I'm going to play and try to get a couple more kills and then we're going to call it a video. What? What? Okay, that dude had dual wheel pistols on. He got shanked. Surprisingly. Oh, see, you know what I'm saying? I knifed that guy and it was already lunging into him, but he killed me. Watch. I already on my screen knifed him, but it's just like, it's like there's a little delay when it comes to the combat. I kind of like the one at the beginning of BO4. I actually got a kill. I'm surprised that dude didn't sound for me from a mile away. Took me forever to get that kill, but I got it. 
I'm proud of myself. And that dude's out over here. I'm done. I'm done. I, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> I'm gonna get mad. And I'm gonna get frustrated. Anyways, all right, guys. I'm gonna wrap up the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to let me know down below in the comment section which Call of Duty game had your favorite combat knife. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and drop a like if you did enjoy today's video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Yeah.